Welcome back to Five Rounds. We hope you enjoyed all of our coverage of UFC Fight Night. We were here in Ottawa all week long. We took in the Fan Fest. We got to talk to some fans. We got to talk to some fighters and trainers. Everybody had a great week mm -hmm. here in the nation's capital, but really, it was the show that everybody really enjoyed. Of course, the technical main event, the co-main event where Donald Cerrone got the job done, but a spectacular 205 pound affair between Quebec's own Steve Bosse and Sean O'Connell. These guys duked it out for three solid rounds. It was pure car carnage and the fans loved it. Yeah, and uh, there's a million reasons why you watch the sport. There's a million reasons why you follow the sport. And there, this is really easy for us all to understand and feel. Can you enjoy a fight like this? I, uh, yeah, I, I loved it. Uh, because you feel it. You yeah. feel the visceral energy of it. You feel the fact that these men, they know what's going on. They can take a step back. There are every logical piece of your mind is saying you're not telling you not to fight this way because your instincts are to protect yourself. Yet, in battle, they're feeling the energy, they're feeling the enjoyment, they're feeling the sensations of having this incredible experience, and then they just go crazy. And that's it's a beautiful thing to witness. Heart and grit and desire and the inability to be overcome by somebody. All of that is amazing. And then you get to see dudes just rip each other in the face. Like it was it was super cool. What I think is interesting is that Bosse dropped in that first round. How much of a factor is it that, again, he has limited mixed martial arts experience. We know he's been in there a number of times. But you look back to his hockey career, and you said that he's been in hundreds of fights, and it feels that he's just comfortable in that environment. He, he is. He's... There may not be any men in the world more comfortable than a guy who's had 200 fights at that range where the only place to go is straight forward. But he does have, he's developed some very nice skills. A little slip to that right hand, he's got a vicious right hand. So now he has all kinds of little ways to set it up in the chaos. And he stood this close to men who punch back and forth in, in you know at each other like that and he's developed subtle games within that so it, it really was incredible I, I I understand and feel why we all watch that and we all feel the visceral energy of that we got to witness witness the first ever female 125 pound matchup in the ultimate fighting championship Valerie Letourneau and Joanne Calderwood uh, some controversy there mm -hmm. uh, Val dropped uh, many people felt that the fight could have been stopped, but uh, referee Jaron Valal uh, had an uh, off night as Val Letourneau took a lot of damage. Jaron is a friend. Jaron's yeah. a guest on our show often. I hope we'll have him again. He's a brilliant teacher of refing, an important teacher of refing, but he's a human. And that was human error. And I hope when he discusses it after, he realizes that fight should have been stopped in the first. That's still negotiable. That's still discussable. Sure. But she was out. A good ref in that moment stops that fight. That concussed person still still continued to fight and while fighting two or three times wanted showed out. every sign that she wanted the fight to be over and most people in that room and watching at home felt that and understood that these were signals that I want the fight done. You can ask her, you can say, does this fight over? Are we done? Do you don't want to fight? Okay. And he forced her to continue to fight. She took damage she didn't need to take. He's a human. That's human error. That's normal. And he's a little bit in his own head, I think, right now. And uh, he'll turn the corner. This is a great referee. He's going to make huge contributions to fighting. Certainly was a confusing outcome to the 125-pound matchup. But nonetheless, Joanne Calderwood she looking awesome. spectacular, getting the victory over Valerie Letourneau. That is it for us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in next week as we begin our coverage of International Fight Week, and it all leads up to UFC 200.